Welcome back friends. Today's film explanation is about an old joyless millionaire's wife who cheats with a young broke chef because he had time for her, and who is also her son's friend. Al this is from a film called In Love 2009. The film begins with preparations for Eduardo Recchi Sr.'s birthday at Tancredi Recchi's villa in Milano his son, and on that same day, his grandson Eduardo Recchi Jr. nicknamed Edo, had a racing competition before he had to get back to the party. Ida, the manager of all caretakers in the house, told Emma Recchi, Edo Jr.'s mother, that he would come with his new girlfriend Eva Ugolini to meet them, so she made sure that she got her a place at the table. When the time reached, all the guests invited took their seats according to the order of their names following the table map placed at the entrance. Recky Sr. was glad to see the Recky family together, they got to know about Eva, and she also told them about Antonio Biscaglia when his name came up after they were saying that he had defeated Edo Jr. In the race, she told them that he was a chef and that his family owned a restaurant on the building owned by the Ugolini family. Everything went on smoothly, and that night, those who had gifts for Recky Sr. handed them over, Elisabetta Recky, the only granddaughter, gave him a photo that he did not understand the meaning behind it, but loved anyway, Ida brought the cake, and after, he handed over the ownership of his company to Tancredi Recky and his son Eduardo Recky Jr. as it was time for him to retire, and the fact that he had heart problems, this surprised everyone, but the reason Recky Sr. gave was that he was too good to be replaced by one man. Amidst the celebrations, Antonio showed up with a cake for Edo since he was a good chef thanking him for being a fair opponent in the race, Edo was amused, so he asked him to join them at his grandfather's birthday, Edo also introduced him to his mother Emma, but because he was caught up, as he went to attend to other matters, Antonio gave the cake to Ida and he left as he felt out of place to join them. After some months, Recky Sr. had passed on, Edo and Tancredi continued running the company, Antonio and Edo became good friends. One morning, Emma went to pick up clothes from the laundry, and the attendant gave her a disc with a letter in it that was written by Elisabetta Recchi. Expressing how she felt towards her female teacher, she stated that although she was afraid to open up about her affair, she was glad Edo understood her and loved her the way she was which surprised Emma. Edo went and paid a visit to Antonio, he told him about his proposal party, but first Antonio wanted Edo to try his eggplant and sunflower dish because he was some talent when it came to cooking. When Antonio told him his idea of building a restaurant on his father's land who won't let him and who was against his cooking ideas. Because Edo's family was respected, he was like he will talk to Antonio's dad about allowing them to use half of the land and also handle the finances, then, they celebrated Edo's good news of proposing to Eva and Antonio offered to cook for free as his gift to him. That day, Emma paid a visit to Allegra Rory Recchi, her mother-in-law, they talked about Tancredi Recchi's tour to London, and she also seemed to be worried about Elisabetta Recchi nicknamed Betta, because she was not communicating, but since Emma was aware of what she was going through, she backed her up with an excuse. Emma then told her about Edo's proposal party to Eva, and Rory gave her a gift that she was to give to Eva to carry on with the Recchi culture. When Emma arrived home that evening, Edo introduced her again to Antonio, his chef friend, she was amused with his dishes, and he gave her a demonstration of how he does it, they were all delighted with the results. As the party was going on, Emma stayed in her bedroom trying to occupy herself because she couldn't associate with the youths. Tancredi Recchi was away on the family business, which made her feel lonely most of the time, because of this. When Ida took her the dish that was specially made for her by Antonio, she asked her to stay for company to narrate to her how the party was going. She told her that Edo had spent the whole evening with Eva and only left her to go and get his chef friend from the kitchen, and she concluded by saying that Edo thought highly of Antonio. The following day, Tancredi Recchi told Emma, his wife, that what was spent on Edo's party exceeded what was budgeted, and all she cared about was that their son was happy since he was not around, since he was from London, where Elisabetta Recchi was. He was like Betta going to London was a good decision as it gets her motivated even though she seemed kinda sad, Emma told him, that she was to pick her up at the train station the next day with Rory. The following day, all of the three Recchi wives went to have lunch at Antonio's family restaurant. Rory was like it was a great idea after she found out that Antonio was a really great talent, even though Eva was kinda against the restaurant idea, saying that Edo and Antonio were rushing it. Emma advised Eva not to question her son because he was brilliant and he knew whatever he was doing. After the meal, Emma thanked Antonio in person for his exquisite cooking, from risottos to the vegetables, and Antonio was like he grows the vegetables himself near San Remo in the countryside where he and Edo are planning to put the restaurant, which surprised her more. Just like Emma had said, she and Rory went to pick up Betta at the train station from London. Her boyfriend Gregorio San Felice tried to welcome her with flowers, not knowing that she had already left him for her teacher and this was no surprise to Emma because she knew why. 
When they reached home, Betta decided to open up to her mother, and Emma had no choice but to support her as a mother. A while later, Emma drove to San Remo, she got a call from Edo, and she lied to him that she had gone to pay Beta a visit, before she even crossed the road. She saw Antonio on the other side of the road and decided to follow him in secrecy to see whether what he said was true. At some point, she became hesitant but decided to go on with the stalking, and she then bumped into him by accident. Antonio then used this opportunity and asked her to show her the place where they were planning to put the restaurant. If she was not very busy and she accepted, when they got there, she liked the environment because it was quiet and green. Because she already had a crush on Antonio, who also had a crush on her when he made his move on her, she did not hesitate. That evening, she returned home very happy, she could not believe that it had happened. From that day, because her husband was busy most of the time, all she could think of was Antonio, and one day, Edo almost caught them red-handed when he went to see him at his family restaurant to give him the good news, but because he went in calling his name from outside, this gave them a chance to escape. The good news was that Antonio's father had allowed them to use half of the land in the countryside for their restaurant. Edo asked him why he seemed unhappy. Not knowing that it was the guilt he felt, he came across a magazine that belonged to Emma, Antonio got it from his hands. He told him that he was going to go through the papers and thanked him. Before he left, he told him that they had an important business dinner, and his mother was to call him for more details not knowing that he was with her just before he got in. Now that it had become a habit, one day, when Emma went to meet Antonio, he handed over her magazine that she had left in his truck which was a mistake, because Edo had already seen it, she used the chance to tell him how her husband met her in Russia to their marriage in Milan, and that she had never been to Russia again ever since. She even told him that one day, she happened to make a soup that her grandmother had thought her called Luka, and surprisingly, when Edo tested it, it became his favorite from then, Emma taught Antonio to how to make it. She told her that her real name was Keitch, that Emma was given to her by Tancredi, and as they kept on enjoying their moments, Antonio cut her hair short. From there, she returned home with the magazine that Edo had already seen with Antonio. The following day, Antonio showed up at Edo's home as the main chef for the business dinner that was going to be hosted, and the mistake he made was he added Uka to the food menu. This is when Edo started adding up everything and realized that his mother was cheating on his father with his friend. The two went outside, they ran into an argument, and in the process, Edo slid and hit his head on the edges of the swimming pool, and he died on spot just like that. After his burial, Emma opened up to Tancredi that she was in love with Antonio, she parked her things and left, but before, she gave Betta a sign to follow her heart. If you have come this far, thanks for watching, and consider subscribing.